Today is our first day of assembling flags that will be on Art Hill for a week around the 20th year commemoration of 9-11. Well, on this shift, we're putting 300 flags on poles. Um, there are two shifts today, 300 flags for each shift. Over the course of the next almost two months, we will have uh, roughly 7,500 flags on poles ready to go on Art Hill in the fall. Today, um, they're using these jigs, we call them, that are measured exa to exact dimensions, um, and that is helping them get these flags precise in terms of where they go on the poles, where the uh, gold star labels go on the poles, and where we mark the poles at the bottom to go into the ground because we want them um, all uniform, as uniform as possible. Each flag honors somebody who fell in action since 9-11-01. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, this is my beautiful son, Sergeant Zachary Michael Fisher, who was the youngest of my three sons. He's a 9-11 child. Um, he was, I think he was 15 when all this happened. Um, and I remember him coming home from school being very, very, very distraught, very outraged, not knowing how to handle what he had just seen on television. When he told us he was going to go into the service, he had made up his mind then. So Zachary was in Iraq for nine months. His unit, he was the airborne unit, okay, attached to the 618. Uh, so they were to rebuild what was blown up. And then he got orders for Afghanistan. On July the 14th of 2010, my beautiful son was killed in Zabul, Afghanistan. Somebody who made the ultimate sacrifice is known as a gold star on the service flag. That's a blue star when they're in action that turns gold if they uh, make the ultimate sacrifice. So we attach labels to each flagpole um, that coincide with the photograph and the dog tag that are specific. Um, you know, one flag for one service member. What gold star families want the most? is for their family member to never be forgotten because they gave up everything and all their tomorrows for us.